Hi, so I'm going to talk about uh, Bionode, which is trying to provide highly reusable code in bioinformatics. So, Bionode is modular and universal, which means um, it provides small tools that follow the Unix philosophy, so they try to do one thing well, so that you can then combine them to solve more complex tasks. And it's written in JavaScript and Node.js, which means you can run it on server-side or client-side, um, uh, basically anywhere. So you have an example of a simple line of common line code to get all the fastq files uh, on NCBI from Spidebase. And you can try Bionode at that URL uh, interactively. There's already a small community around it and a few collaborations with other projects like that and BioJS, which I'll mention um, better later. So Bionode started as a side project of my PhD. Uh, at Queen Mary. Um, I'm doing a PhD in population genomics uh, at the Worm Lab. And um, if um, you should actually check our website because we have a bunch of web tools, um, for example, to crowdsource genome annotation or to check if your gene predictions are correct or switch between operating systems using Docker. And all, a lot of these tools rely on JavaScript. So I was involved in some of these projects, and what ended up happening was that I have to rewrite a lot of code um, in JavaScript. Um, so I decided just to write my code uh, just in JavaScript and be able to run it everywhere. And another thing, I, another issue I had is that I had to download a lot of datasets from NCBI, and the API was not user friendly. Um, and I also had some issues writing bioinformatics pipelines that could. Uh, be flexible enough for what I was trying to do. So I just started writing some scripts. Those scripts evolved into modules, started pushing them to GitHub, uh, following the best web development practice of so continuous integration, testing. I started getting pull requests. There's a bunch of issues uh, already on GitHub, and some of them are very easy because you want to contribute and become a collaborator. And so the cool thing with Node.js is the I can run it everywhere. So for example, here I have a parser and these are the tests of the parser running on the um, command line and the exact same code is running on a browser. And so it, the browser is actually emulating a file system and writing the file to the browser's database. Um, and it's the exact same code without any modification. And another cool thing with Node.js is that it's the fastest community uh, growing right now. Uh, you can see in green the number of Node.js modules growing exponentially. Uh, in the middle, have Python and Ruby and R at the bottom. Although there's not a lot of bioinformatics models um, in Node.js. And using available tools like the NCBI module in BioPython, I would have to write this amount of code to process the data. So basically to figure out where an assembly of uh, ant species will be, I would have to request the identifiers that request the data associated to those identifiers parse the XML into JSON, go inside the JSON. So I, I tried to simplify that um, so I could easily query the database in one line in, of in one line of command line. And when I needed something more complex, I could use JavaScript and use uh, several patterns, like the callback pattern, which allowed me to get all the data at once, or event-based patterns, so I could get process the data um, as I would get it into chunks. And then I could have several Node.js modules and connect all those modules together in a pipe, which allowed me also to do, to do some cool tools out there that allow you to build these um, pipelines visually. Uh, so this one is um, one that's under development that allows to use uh, Node.js streams natively, but there's already a bunch of other tools that you can drag and drop to build your pipelines, although some of them require some wrapping around your modules. Um, so there's another project out there um, doing JavaScript called BioJS. And people sometimes ask, what's the relation between uh, Bionode and BioJS? So both projects are JavaScript. Both projects use the same package manager. So they're easy to combine together. But BioJS is more focused on representing biological data on the web. So the technologies we use are very different. BioJS is more HTML, CSS, web components, and it's very object-oriented, while 
Firenode uh, relies heavily in the Node.js API in streaming uh, to get chunks of data, functional programming, and things like that. So the architecture of both projects is very different. Um, but we still collaborate. Biojs um, shows up in the um, Binode shows up in the Biojs registry, and some of the modules are in the top in the download um, numbers. And another project that uh, Binode collaborates a lot with is uh, that. So that is another Node.js project trying to build a Git for data to version data, so it, that you can version uh, tabular data, JSON, CSV, but also blobs. Um, so it has uh, content blob storage. Um, and so there's a lot of knowledge sharing between that and Binode. And you can go to this URL and actually play with that. And um, there's uh, one of the steps of the tutorial is focused on Binode pipelines. Um, so for the hackathon, um, we could maybe fix some of Binode documentation and codes, uh, but maybe, maybe that's not that fun. Um, so I don't know, we could work on common line interface uh, for accessing semantic resources. Or another thing I'm interested in is looking at the, another project called Common Workflow Language, because some of the Binode modules are wrapper around other tools, like some tools. Um, and uh, I think maybe Common Workflow Language wrappers could um, provide a standard for that wrapping. Um, another thing would be to look at, um, so Common Workflow also uses containers like Docker, and that is also doing um, some experiments with containers. So maybe we could try to see where, if there's some overlap and try to have a binode pipeline running inside one of those containers technology. Or maybe we could just build a streamable pipeline for sc scalable sake intake. I'm sure there are sake experts in the audience. Um, and we can then decide in which journal to publish. <laughs> um, and with that, I'd like to thank the Biohackathon organization for inviting me, uh, all the Bionode contributors, and uh, warm up. Thank you very much.